seven easy steps. I'm going to teach you how to make a yo-yo. First, the things that you're going to need are a tee, high end, low end, doesn't really matter as long as it keeps the ball up. I use just a normal duct tape right? duct tape. Next thing you'll need is a football. Anything to kick the ball through. This is kick the ball. Third thing you'll need is a wide open space. It'd be best that you have a field goal post. That way you know that you're kicking accurately. Alright, the first step is setting up the ball. We want to set up the ball with the laces pointing towards the field goal. The ball has to be as straight up as possible or a slight lean to your kicking foot. I'm right footed and I will be showing the whole video right footed. But I like to keep it straight up. Step two. about four inches away from the football. This sets up the whole rest of the video, so make sure you get it right. Step three is three steps back. You wanna take your steps back directly in line with the field goal. One, two, three. From here, you wanna have the field goal, ball, foot. Field goal, ball, foot. This, is, this brings us in step four steps to the left. You cannot visualize a 90 degree angle to the left. I have a little visual to show you. You want to take two steps, three steps back, and two steps left at a 90 degree angle. Here, you want to take two steps left. One, two. This brings us into step five in our relaxed stance. A relaxed stance is six inches back from where our left foot used to be. From here, we're nice and relaxed and we can, we're ready whenever they snap. This brings us into step six, the approach. The approach is breaking into three steps. it up to our beginning. Now we'll break down the steps. Our jab step puts us on an imaginary line. We don't want to go inside the imaginary line. We don't want to go outside the imaginary line. Our jab step is on line in our imaginary line to the floor. Our mid step helps us gain momentum in kicking the ball and also gets us closer to the Third step, which is kicking, helps us plant our foot and kick the ball nice and hard. And if you remember, our plant foot is where we started this video off at. When kicking the ball, you want to kick the ball with the bone of your foot, not with the toes, because if you kick with the toe, you could break a toe. And you want to kick the ball about a quarter of the way up. Farther back, you're gonna to have to kick it higher up. So when you kick it, you want a good eye on the ball, like in any sport. Keep an eye on the ball, just like baseball or softball. Once you kick the ball, you gotta have a good follow through. Follow through with your kicking foot to the field goal post and landing back on your plant foot. To recap, plant. Set up the ball. Step one, set up the ball. Step two, make sure your plant foot is four inches away. Step three, three steps back. One, two, three. Field goal, ball, foot. Step four, two steps to the left at a 90 degree angle. One, two. Step five, in our nice ready stance, six inches away from our left foot used to be. Step six, the approach. Step, mid step, and plant foot. Picking the ball, which brings us into step seven, is the following. With our foot, toes pointing towards the field goal, and landing back on our plant leg. Now, I'll show you the steps in live speed.